Hello, hello, and welcome. It's a hip, hip, hooray kind of day. All right, hip, hip, hooray. Child's pose with wide knees. We start with grab your block. The wider the knees, the more those hips expand. Mm, get yourself in a little spot that works for you. And then maybe put um, blocks under your elbows so that aside from hips, you start to create space in the shoulders. Relax your belly. Soften the breath. With each exhale, let your chest relax. And then as your body starts to adapt and accommodate, to their position, maybe start to evolve it. So in my case, I will reach towards opposite elbows, creating a little more stretch through the shoulder. Taking about another three to four breaths here, maybe starting to soften the hips even more by bringing your heels and your glutes closer together. Take your inhale, start to come off of the depth of this pose. And then lifting your torso, bringing the knees together, creating now a little drape of the belly and the chest over the thighs so that you can start to create space in the area of the lower back and outer hips. So we moved from opening the inner hips to now opening the area of the outer hips and back. Inhale, lift your torso a little bit, separate the knees comfortably, and then exhale, walk your hands over to the right. If you have your block handy, you can use it. You can stack your hands over the block. Creating space through the left side body. Good, and then lifting and moving to the other side and maybe draping those hands over a block here. Nice, come back to center. Take your hands in front of you and then open the hips by dropping the belly. And then shifting it back. So we're gonna move back and forth with this from child's pose as we exhale to swan pose as we inhale. That's where we come forward and up. And then again, child's pose, exhale. Swan pose, inhale. One more, child's pose, exhale. 
Swan pose. Inhale. Make sure your elbows point back because by pointing your elbows back kind of gives the shoulders a direction of opening up instead of hugging in. And then if you want, roll the ankles. Bend the elbows a little more or a little less. And then we'll release everything to the floor, including the forehead. All 10 toenails press down, your hands press down, your elbows point back, and we're gonna roll the shoulders up by the ears and then back and away from the ears. Good, the next time you roll the shoulders up and back, take your inhale and lift forehead, chest, belly, and then take your exhale and release. Two more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale. Good breathing. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Press back, tabletop. Good. So we're going to move into tabletop and we're going to send the right arm forward as if you're shaking somebody's hand. And then we're going to sweep it back. So kind of loosening up a little bit of the shoulder and torso. After doing that a few times, reach it forward and then take the opposite leg back. Maybe lift the leg. And then now if you want, you can add a little roll of the shoulder. I mean, I'm sorry, the wrist and the ankle. You can even snap the fingers if you want. And then once the right hand comes down, we're gonna cross the left leg over and then kind of shift the weight back to see how it feels opening the outer right hip. And if your knee is tender, you can always double up the mat under your right knee or put a towel underneath it. You should feel the target somewhere in the area of the right hip or glute. Good, let's give the right knee a break and send the right left leg up on the inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the left knee down. This knee gets a break by stretching the right leg out to the side. And now this is kind of a hybrid pose where you're going into child's pose on this side and straddle pose on that side. Stay on your hands or get your blocks over the forearms over the blocks or forearms on the mat. Mm -hmm. Okay, come off the depth until that left toe tucks under. So now you're waking up the left foot. Take your left hand under the left shoulder. I'm gonna put mine over the block and then take your right arm and reach it up. It targets your hip differently. It targets your torso. If you want, you can turn your head and look up so it targets a nice stretch for the neck. Good, and then release. Move the blocks out of the way. Let's go back to that child's pose and swan again, okay? So exhale, child's pose. Inhale, swan, point your elbows back. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, your version of swan. Everybody's different. Some people are more flexible so they can do a little bit deeper poses. And one more, exhale back. Inhale, swan. Release all the way to the floor, three cobras. Okay, inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, release. Inhale, cobra pose. 
Exhale, release. And then last one, inhale, Cobra Pose. Exhale, shift back, Child's Pose. Good. Come into tabletop and then send the left arm forward, thumb up, and then swing that arm back and forth a few times. The next time it reaches forward, extend the right leg back, maybe lift the right leg, and then hug the belly in. This is spinal balance. Maybe roll the wrist and ankle. You'll release the left hand and you'll take that right leg and cross it over. Stretch it back. Stay on your hands, come into your forearms, use your props. And then take your inhale, give that left knee a break. So bring your right knee in. And then as you exhale, stretch the left leg out. Hybrid pose. I start with my right toe untucked in my hybrid pose. You can shift a little bit forward and back as well. And then when you're ready, you can rise up, you curl the right toes under. So you start to wake up the right foot and then the right hand under the shoulder. I use my block and then I reach my left arm up. Different stretch, accessing the hip differently, giving that spine a little release. You might even hear your spine pop a little bit. Good, there it is, release on the inhale. Let's find down dog as we exhale and then explore your down dog. So separate the feet so they're about hip distance, anchor the hands and walk it out. And then when you walk it out, make a conscious effort to get the heel that's moving down as close to the mat as you can get it because it gives you a complete Achilles stretch. Good. Take your inhale here. Exhale, bring your feet together. Let's start to flow. Right leg up, inhale. Step the right foot forward. Rock back as you inhale, step forward on the exhale. Root to rise all the way up, inhale, and then bring your hands to your heart. Okay, open to the right, inhale, as wide as possible, as it feels comfortable, possibly wrists align with the ankles. And then let's go ahead and take the hands to the small of the back, open the chest, guide the hips forward. Feel the hips, that's our focus today. So from here, bring attention to the hips. Maybe press your bum forward and feel how you can open your hips standing. Take your inhale and as you exhale, fold. Good. Maybe bend and straighten the knees a few times. The next time you soften the knees, make sure you're very grounded through your feet. Come all the way up, inhale. Warrior two, facing the left, exhale. So warrior two, believe it or not, is a hip opener. So walk your foot out to the left a little more. Make sure your back foot is on a diagonal. And then 
as you bend that front knee more, you're opening that right hip more. As you guide that front knee to the left, you're opening that left hip more. So stack your shoulders over the hips and breathe. Good. Take your inhale while you're here. Reverse this posture. Stretch it. And then exhale, bring the forearm to the thigh, left arm over your ear. I'm sorry, right arm over your ear. Reverse your warrior two as you inhale. Lunge twist will be your next, that's your exhale. Good, give yourself space to twist. So that means for some of us, we have to walk the left foot more to the left, even if it comes out of the mat. Left hand down, inhale. Nice, simple down dog, exhale. High plank, inhale. Knees to the floor, exhale. Swan pose, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Lining up your ears with your arms, hugging your navel in, allowing your body to feel good. Feet come together. The right leg lifts on the inhale. Bend the knee and wake up that hip in this way as you exhale. Extend the leg as you inhale and step the right foot forward. Good. Drop the back knee if you'd like. Come all the way up. Crescent pose, inhale. Cactus the arms in your crescent pose, exhale. Breathe, anchor through that right foot a lot. Your inhale takes you into chair pose, even if it takes you a couple steps to get there. Your exhale sinks you into chair with your arms back so that your shoulders feel relaxed. Sweep all the way up from chair, inhale. Hands meet in your heart or at your heart center, exhale. Open to the left, inhale, nice and wide. Exhale, hands to the small of the back. Here is it again, standing back bend or hip opening. Press your hips forward, open your chest up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Lengthen the toes, lengthen the neck, soften the knees. Inhale, exhale, rise up halfway. Glue the feet to the floor, inhale, hands to the waist. Exhale, come all the way up. Warrior two is next. Reverse your warrior two as you inhale. Forearm to the thigh, so you deepen your stretch of the hips as you exhale. So by bringing your forearm to the thigh and your left arm over your ear, you end up sinking into the hips a little more. Now rotate your ribs towards the ceiling if it feels okay. Good. Warrior two. To peaceful warrior or reverse warrior, inhale, lunge, twist, exhale. Okay, again, give yourself space to twist. Walk your foot out so that you can rotate your torso as much as you can. Right hand down, inhale, down dog, exhale. 
high plank, inhale. Knees down, exhale. Swan pose, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Feet together, back of the mat. Left leg is next. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, open its hip. Extend the leg on the inhale and simply step it forward. Stay with the knee off the mat, the right knee, or bring it onto the mat if you need to. Both arms up, inhale. Up the torso, bend the elbows. And as you bend the elbows and your chest moves forward, you can deepen into it. And if you do, that right hip opens up. We inhale as we step into chair. We exhale as we reach the arms back and the neck forward. Good, let's get into the hips a little more. So hands down, toes out, heels up, knees open, look up, inhale. Lift, look back, exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Nice little open knee squat as you inhale. This time on the exhale, stay with an open squat, open hips, reach your arms forward. And then in your own time, rise. Organize the heels, drop the feet, hands to the heart. Okay, round two, open to the right, inhale. This time as you exhale, take the hands behind you, a towel, a strap, or laced hands. Feet wide, soft knees, look up, inhale, hips forward. And then as you exhale, rinse it over, exhale. You can bend the knees and straighten the knees a few times in this forward fold. And notice every time you bend the knees, how your hips wake up. And then every time you straighten the knees, how you can go further in the fold. Good. The next time you soften the knees, look slightly ahead, inhale. Come all the way up, reach your arms up, exhale. Warrior two to the left. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Triangle pose is next, exhale. So straighten the front leg, glide to the left. Left hand down, right arm up. Chin in, right shoulder back, left glute tucks under. Top arm moves forward and over your ear. We look down as we inhale. Lunge twist, exhale. Plenty of space to twist. Left hand down, inhale. This time is a down dog split, if you're okay with that. So come into down dog, but if you're okay with it, lift the left leg high. Walk the hands back, stand on that right foot. And then just focus on stretching the hamstring for now. The right leg lengthens, the left toes point down. You're long in your spine, even if it's not perfect. You can always come off of it, grab a couple blocks and bring them back, it's okay.
Good. Now let's see if you can soften the right knee, use your core to balance and stand up with the left knee up. If you have to tap the left foot down, it's okay. If you're able to keep it floating and reach it up, it'd be great. Reach your arms up. Stretch your foot or stretch your knee, lengthen your leg, step forward. And then here we are again, press it. Cactus the arms like you did before. Maybe this time, open your chest a little more. Okay, chair or awkward chair is next. So step into chair or cross that right ankle over the left leg. And then it gets that right hip even further into the pose. So this is kind of like a pigeon pose, but you're balancing. Grab a block, I mean, grab a wall if you're close to a wall. The whole idea here is the closer your chest comes to your right leg, the more you're opening that right hip. Good. And then we root and rise. Inhale. Feet together, hands to the heart, exhale. Side two, open to the left, inhale. Whoops, oops, oops. Hands behind you, interlace the hands behind you, exhale. Open the chest on the inhale, forward fold, exhale. Stretch it, soften the knees, access the hips. Lengthen the knees, access a deeper fold and the hamstring. Again, soften the knees, wake up those hips. Lengthen the knees, feel those hamstrings. Last time, inhale, soften knees. Exhale, lengthen. We're gonna soften the knees, look forward, inhale, come all the way up. And then as we exhale, warrior two to the right. Reverse your warrior two. Triangle pose. Hold your triangle pose. You've long lengthening, lengthened with the legs and the arms, hugging the navel in. Shifting your head back in space, left arm forward and over your ear. Look down, inhale, lunge, twist. Exhale. Right hand down, inhale. Down dog split, exhale. Make any modifications you can make or want to make. Walk your hands back to your left foot. Just work on stretching the back of the left leg while you're here. And lengthen the chest slightly forward so that you're not over rounding your back. Feel that your four corners of your left, right of your left foot are grounded and then feel like your right toes are floating but they're pointing down. That keeps your pelvis neutral. Hug the belly. Soften the left knee when you're ready, come up. If you have to tap the knee down, tap it. If you're able to float the knee up and the arms up, try it. Step forward, even if it's a baby step. Lunge. Fingertips back, open the chest, open the belly. The more you lift through your neck, you lift your chest, your collarbones, the more you're gonna open that left hip. When you're ready, inhale into chair or awkward chair. And then as you exhale, you try to balance, maybe holding onto a wall, 
or maybe start to fold deep so that you feel the stretch in the hip. Come up tall, inhale. Feet together, hands to the heart, exhale. Okay, last flow. Open to the right, inhale. Hands to the small of the back, exhale. Soften the knees this time. Open the chest and if you want, drop back. So you either drop back and float, or if you want, you can drop back with both hands or one hand and reach. And then if you drop back with one hand, come up and then go to the, down the other side. And yes, if you're close to a wall, you can reach back for your wall. Take your inhale, upright the torso, forward fold, exhale. Headstanders, go for your headstand. As long as you know that you're comfortable doing it. Head down, hands down. Create almost like a little triangle on the mat. And you can either work on just lifting the, feet, the heels. Okay, if you have issues with your spine, don't put pressure on your neck. But if not, work on lifting the heels. Maybe work on bringing one knee or both knees up to the arms. Maybe work on bringing one leg or both legs up towards the ceiling. Stay as long as you want. When you're ready, feet wide. Come off your head, look forward, inhale. Soften the knees, exhale. Root to rise, inhale. Turn the feet to the left, exhale. Reverse your warrior as you inhale. Okay, so you can go into triangle or half moon. Okay, you can reach as we did before and stay grounded, left hand down, right arm up. Or look down, soften the left knee, Bring the left hand in front and to the left of that foot and then float the right foot off the mat. Stack the hips, open the chest. And if you want, look up. And if you want, bend the top leg, grab a hold of the foot. And then as you squeeze the glute, notice how that opens your hip. Squeeze the glute, open that right hip. Okay, look down, and if you're in triangle, go right into a lunge twist. If you are in half moon with me, square your pelvis first, pull the right knee in, and then step back into your lunge twist. Spice up your lunge twist with a side plank. So I can drop my right knee and move into side plank modified with my right knee down. Or I can try to step off to a side plank without my right knee down. Hold side plank for three, two, one. Regular plank inhale, lower to the belly, exhale. Cobra pose, inhale. Down dog pose, exhale. Feet together, back of the mat, right leg lift. Walk the hands to the left foot. When you get to the back, bend the right knee as if you're trying to bring your heel towards your left glute. Just this motion of bending the knee opens your hip. Now we can go further with that, right? First of all, you can go grab a block and bring it back with you so that you can have access to it. And that block can go under your right hand. So I'm doing my bent knee thing. My right hand has a block. 
Now I'm gonna fish for that right foot that's up there with my left hand. If I'm able to grab it, I'm gonna work the knee up so I access the hip again. And then I'm going to work my hand into my block so I access not just a little more hip opening, but then a long spine. I'll stay or I'll float into like a little twisted dancer here. Those of you that can't grab the foot, keep the shape. And when we're all ready, come up, move the block out of the way, right knee up, step immediately forward, come into airplane wings. So the arms come back, the chest moves forward, slide off the back leg. Play with it, stay here or bend the knee, grab the foot lift the leg or simply tap it down. Good. And then we're going to start to upright the torso and move into eagle. So watch, left thigh crosses over right once, possibly twice. Thumbs point down, left arm crosses under right arm once, possibly intertwines twice. I can squat a little lower. I can square my pelvis a little more. And when I've had enough, I'll come off my legs first. I press into my legs so I lift my elbows. Stretch, inhale, come undone, exhale. Okay, last side, inhale, open to the left. Exhale, hands to the small of the back. This time, just a gentle lift on the inhale and a nice gentle forward fold as you exhale. Anything that tickles your fancy here. So you can reach for ankles or calves or feet or try another headstand, whatever feels good to you. If your head legs are not up in the air, then attempt to connect through the balls of the feet a little bit more. Nice, still. Good. Press into your hands. And then slowly, slowly, I'm so happy for you. All right, so slowly, if you were on your head, come off your head and relax your head a minute. Yes, move your head a little bit like you're saying yes, and like you're saying no, no, no. And then soften the knees and come all the way up. Inhale, it's warrior two to the right. And then a reverse warrior two. Inhale. Stay grounded in triangle or fly off triangle into half moon. And then remember, you have so many fun little options in half moon. So if it suits you, you can say, I'm going to bend my leg today. And then if you bend that top leg, work on squeezing the glutes. So you create activity and space through the left hip. Okay, we're moving in towards lunge twist. So remember, if you're up flying with me, square your pelvis first, pull your left knee in first so everything stays nice and safe and then step back into lunge twist. If you were in regular triangle, then you know how to move into twist or lunge twist, we've been doing it. Okay, right hand up and lunge twist. And then we spiced it into your version of side plank with a knee down or up. And your sides are different. Maybe on this side, you don't want to have your knee down or up. 
Regular plank, inhale, lower to the belly. Exhale. It's cobra on the inhale. And then lower to the belly as we take a little chest pause before we culminate this last flow. So our chest pause has a pillow or a block handy. We're gonna open the left arm to the left and we're gonna roll to the left, bringing our head over a pillow or a block to create a little space. Slowing down the breath. Back to the belly, inhale. Second side. Come on to the belly, cobra pose, inhale, down dog pose, exhale. <sighs> Feet together, left leg lifts, inhale, walk the hands back. Keep your block handy. Once you come back with your uh, hands, bend the top leg and see if you're able to bring yourself to that top heel towards the glute. I'm gonna put my block underneath my left hand like I did on my first side. And I'm going to try to reach my right hand up towards my hip and possibly grab my foot. If I have my foot, I work my leg up to create more space through my hip. I look forward, I lift my chest, maybe I lift my arm. We will all end up pulling the left knee in towards the chest at some point, stepping forward for airplane. Creating whatever airplane you want. You can keep the leg extended, you can bend the leg, you can reach for the foot or the ankle, whatever feels good. When you're ready, upright your torso, cross the right thigh over the left thigh. Eagle wrap once or eagle wrap twice. Thumbs down with the arms wide, right arm under the left. Cross once or intertwine and cross twice. And then shift into your version of eagle. Unravel the legs, lift the elbows high, create that space, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Step back with the left foot, pigeon pose with the right knee. So you can take pigeon like this, making sure your left knee points down, your left toes point down and you soften. Or you can go to a supine or recline pigeon with your leg like this.
Relaxing the jaw. Working that chest up when you're ready. And then trying to come off the hands as we bring the right glute down, sliding the left leg forward, bringing the feet together, reaching your arms forward. Okay, we're gonna go back to where we just came from, okay? So try not to put your hands on the floor. Slide the left leg out, bend into pigeon, Come into your version of pigeon without hands. If you're on your back, you can try it if you want. Just come into it. Here it is again. Sweep forward. No arms. Maybe float your feet off the mat this time. Or keep them on the mat. Okay. Again, come into pigeon. All core control. And then come back into it. Maybe this time you're able to extend your legs fully and arms extend fully. Good. Take your inhale here. Exhale lower into your version of stretcher. Inhale, come up. Down dog, exhale. This is your last down dog. So maybe take a little note and notice of how this one feels compared to the first one you did today. Spread the palms evenly, lengthen the toes and evenly press through the feet or the balls of the feet. Pigeon pose, left knee forward. Or go on your back and cross the left leg in front. Okay, you can start to upright your torso and see how that feels. And then try not to use your hands. Slide your legs forward, feet flat for the first one. Reach forward. Good. Again, pull your legs back. And then this time, feet forward. Maybe your legs stay down or this time they hover up. One more, bring the legs back. Nice little pigeon. Two, boat pose. Extend the legs up. Maybe reach the arms up. Hold for three, two, one, and then lower.
and then release. Ooh, windshield wipe the knees. Shift the knees from side to side. The next time the knees shift to the right side, let's weigh down that left leg if possible with the right leg like this. And then maybe take your arms over your head. And then reverse it, knees to the left, way down that right leg with the left leg. Good. Bring the legs in, hug the knees into the chest. Allow the back to be really flat. And then if you want, add to it like a little happy baby, grabbing opposite ankles or feet. This is a great little hip stretch too. Try to get those knees as close to the mat as possible. You can work on extending one leg, maybe the right leg extends. And then bring it back in. Then you can work on bringing the left leg extended. And then bringing it back in. And then this time you can work on maybe grabbing your big toes or the outer edges of the feet and extending both legs at the same time. Uh, bring the feet together. Inhale, and as you exhale, fold yourself in half with a nice flat back. Fold yourself in half. Inhale fully. Exhale, lengthen the legs. And as a little finale before our rest, you can sit on your bum, slide onto your forearms, gaze forward, inhale, chin up, maybe look behind you, exhale. Relax to the floor. And just allow the body to receive, receive all that is good for you. Take some nice deep breaths. Soften your jaw, swallow and bring moisture to the back of the throat. Nice, soft breaths.
Bring a movement to your feet and your hands. Go to your side when you're ready. And then you can come up to sit so we can close our practice. Once we sit, think about what will bring joy to your day today and see if you can add a quality that you feel will do that for you. What quality would you want to add into your day today? And then once you have it, attach the words I am in front of it as if it is already happening, as if it is already manifested. And as you take your next inhale, say that phrase in your mind. And as you take your next exhale, release what no longer you need. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste on mine. Susan.